want these, mate? Where do I want what? Roof tiles. <sighs> if you can find a space, drop them in it. Trevor! Sorry, Claire. Tiles are here! About bloody time. So what are the deliveries we got coming today, then? Am I the only one who looks at the order book? Yep. Yes. As long as the sharp sand and cement's there, that should be it. Can I get back now? Are you on my bloody phone again? You'll fry your brain, you know. Sorry about that, Claire. I'm up on the roof. You just be careful up there. I've got plans for you, and they don't include hospitals. Got you still on that blower? Could you tell him to get off the line? I've got business to run here. It's going well, then. You sound surprised. Oh, can I help, Joe? Uh, another time, darling. He's busy. Can you uh, handle a shovel? Yeah. Might have a job for you. Come on, shirt off. Look the part. That's a very, very tricky job. You've got a spade sand into the mixer. That's four spades sand, one spade cement. Four spades sand. One spade cement. Yeah, exactly. It's more to it than you think. That's easy. It's a highly skilled job. See if you can do it. The boys are natural. <laughs> right, when you're finished, you get a very special prize. What's that? So you've been thinking about me a lot? Do you think you could get away lunchtime? Sorry, what? Well, seeing as you're into football, you may as well support the best team. That's a classic strip from the 70s. Malcolm MacDonald is alive and well. Who? Now that, now that is blasphemy. I love picnics, but what about Nick? He's my brother, not my keeper. I'll meet you there. Okay. Bye. I'm hanging up now, Trevor. <laughs> Bye. 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 I think I'm going to be sick. Don't start. Have you got the holding hands yet? Shut it, will you? What? I'm just interested. So we haven't done the old nasty? No, we haven't. And even if we had, I wouldn't tell you. What's the attraction then? We talk a lot. I know, that man, you're never off that phone. What do you talk about? Life, the world, ourselves. You wouldn't understand. Well, you're probably right. I like her a lot. And whatever happens, happens. Well, I hope it happens soon. Joe's going to go mad when he sees his phone bill. A spiral staircase that high? As long as we tie it in, it'll be fine. Yeah, with all that space, it'll look amazing. You don't think it'll look too cold, all that metal? I don't seem to get a sense of balance at the moment. Well, would it help you visualise it if I knock the wall down? What, it'd take hours. No pressing engagement. Shouldn't you be out there laying bricks or something? Tea break. Mm -hmm. Or soft drinks break for the junior work. Can I get you anything? No, I'll, I'll just get on. Mm. <laughs> I can't work with you looking over my shoulder. Sorry. You've put a door where the ground floor window should be. That'll be all. I'm going, I'm going. That's fantastic, Reg. Uh, no, 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 we can look at them in, in my new office. Yeah. No, it's finished now. Yeah. yeah, really? No, okay, I'll look forward to that. People will too. 
So, dinner here around seven, is? No, no, there's no trouble at all. Right, see you then. Yeah, bye. Yes! <laughs> dinner here seven, ish Oh, sorry, it just slipped out. You can rustle something up, can't you? Would you want to impress her or just feed her? Well, both. Look, I've spent all the redundancy money on the loft conversion and a new computer. I need the work. Well, what am I going to cook? Well, if she likes my stuff, I could get a permanent contract. Rachel's editor-in-chief now. She's in charge of a dozen titles. Thank you, God! Will yeah. you still be working from home? Well, that's the whole point of being freelance. One touch of the button is email down the line. If I can find out how all this works. Well, let's hope one of us appears competent. Hmm. Where the hell's Trevor? He should have finished by today. Oh, I'll go over there if you like. Oh, would you, Val? Yeah. Tell him it's imperative he gets it done. OK. Mm. Oh. Mm. Morning. Oh, hi, Trevor. Um, Dad was looking for you earlier. Something about finishing the job today? Right, I'll uh, pop over in a bit. So, where are you taking me tonight, then? Ooh, how about stone throwing competition on the beach? Well, how about a club? I'm skinned, aren't I? Well, I'll treat you. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Well, it's the 21st century, you know. Or it's Newcastle in a different time zone to the rest of the world. Pardon? Trevor, are you hearing this? Right, someone's gonna get caught. <laughs> you don't get <laughs> Oh, he's coming! Four spades sand, one spade cement. Four spades spade sand, sand, one, one spade space. cement. Four spades sand, one spade cement. Job's gone well, eh? You say so? Oh, yeah. We'll keep going. If we just keep going, we'll be bang on schedule. That would be nice for you. Do I detect a certain frostiness up here? I don't know, do you? Yes, I do. Why? I didn't know that Sam was a Newcastle fan. Being from Brighton, like. You don't begrudge him that shirt, do you? What, a Malcolm McDonald 1970s number nine shirt? Precious piece of football memorabilia? A family heirloom? Nah, no, why should I? Ah, oh, come on, Trevor. You treasure that shirt? Saved up out of me paper round to buy that for you. I know. And I didn't take it off for a week, do you remember? You said you were saving it for Daniel. Did I? It's typical of you. Out of sight, out of mind. Oh, well, you can talk. When was the last time you phoned him? What? You see? You see your head? So full of clear, these... Clear, 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 clear! No one else gets a look in. I know I'm right, I'm right. Where are you going? Somewhere I'm appreciated. Who got you the paper round in the first place, eh? Hey? Seems to me that all they care about is sex, sex, and more sex. I mean, there's got to be more relationships than that, isn't there? But if there isn't, Jeff and I are in trouble. I'm not boring you with all this, am I? Pleasant change to find someone still at the passionate stage. Shame it doesn't last very long. When I'm with Claire, I feel excited and then sick. I get all sort of tingly just thinking about her. Tingly? Well, you know what I mean. I think I can just about remember that far back. The thing is, when do you know if the time's right to get a bit more serious? Well, you've done everything right so far. I'm sure she's keen. Really? But you're a lovely man. You're kind, handsome. Yeah, I don't know about that. You are, Trevor. You're very good looking. I think Claire's a very lucky girl. Simon! Get 
think you're doing? Yeah, don't make showers like they used to. What is it with you and my property? It was an accident. No, 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 no. You see, an accident is when his mum and dad made the mistake of conceiving him in the first place. Now that is an accident. It wasn't deliberate, man. Oh, well, you don't do anything deliberately, do you? It just happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I mean, is it personal? Because if it is, let's have it out. Come on, right now. I'm sorry. Not good enough. He said he was sorry. Stay out of this. Get back to work now. He's not your bloody slave. Oh, he didn't tell you. No, I own him. And now I own your children. And your children's children. Because at this rate, you're going to be paying me back till you're a granddad. I'm really, really sorry, Joe. But it just came off in me hand. If you don't get up that scaffolding, something's going to come off in my hand. And you'll have to change your name to Susan, Simon. Vamooch! They're driving around the bend, Viv. Maybe I was better off on the building site. No responsibilities. No overheads. You just turn up. Just pick your wages up at the end of the week. And where would Trevor and Simon be then? I don't know. And I don't care. Yes, you do. They rely on you. Now that, that makes me a mug. Don't be so hard on yourself. And I'm surprised I didn't clag him up. Surprised you haven't clagged each other before now, all living together in that van. You can get the shower fixed, can't you? Aye. Right. Not worth having a seizure over. I'll just shut up and get back on it. Yeah. You're doing fine, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you feel like a rant, door's always open. Well, if you work back here, you won't get the sun on your screen. No, that's going to be shelving eventually. Anyway, you can't face the wall, Becky. It's depressing. I don't believe it. What? The phone socket's on this wall and the plug sockets are over there. Where am I supposed to plug everything in? Oh. Well, I can't have the phone leads trailing across the floor to the modem. I keep tripping over the bloody thing. What about my CD player, the TV, and the angle poise? Any bright ideas, Sparky? It's not his fault. I tell the engineers where to put it. I'll tell him exactly where to put it. Why don't you leave everything just as it is and then tell your friend that it's work in progress? I don't want a room that says work in progress. I want a room that says ready and willing to work. Don't worry. I can easily put in another couple of sockets and still be finished on time. Of course, I've got to take up the floorboards and lay some more cable. Are you sure? Oh, absolutely, yeah. No problem. I've got to nip out anyway for other stuff. Do it. Uh, give me a hand with this computer, will you? Oh, and then I'll go into the shopping, shall I? Good idea. <laughs> Joe? Joe? I'm up here. What I need to do? No. Needs rewiring, plumbing's in a right state. I think the last time it was decorated must have been about 1950. Not bad, eh? See what it's like. Yeah. Hi. Hiya. I've asked Joe to give me a quote on the house. Oh, do you know what you want yet? I don't want you wasting Joe's time. I can pop round tonight. Yeah, fine. I'll get the ale in. Come on. You in there? Not interested. What's a first? Right then, I'm off. No, you're not. Got a wall to knock down. 
Oh, wait, man, I'm meeting Becky. Am I the only one interested in this project? Oh, you're not moody these days, Joe. Can't do it on my own, Simon. I think it's because you're not getting any. Does that old bloke? Not that I'd know I like. And the ammo. Cheers, bro. All done it, Pippers? Pick up hammer, help knock down wall. Oh, can't stop. I need a hand, Trevor. I need a shower. Go and have one. Says so, who? So. I do. Now, well, I've had enough of you telling me what to do. If I want a shower, I'll have a shower, so just stop interfering. Oh, man, a lad. What the hell's happened here? Simon and Becky. I've informed the Guinness Book of Records. Great. What do you need a show at dinner time for, anyway? I've got to go out. Buy some sockets and stuff. You have to be all clean for the man in the shop, do you? Yeah, that's right. I asked you not to have anything to do with him. He's really nice when you get to know him, if you just give him a chop. Oh, yeah, he's a diamond. That's why him and his brother shafted me over that school. Look, he didn't know about that. He told me. What, and you believe him? Yes, I do. All the women in Brighton, you picked Nick Costello's sister? It was your idea, remember? What? Take her out, you said. Buy her a drink. You weren't supposed to fall for her. I really like Claire. And she likes me. But that doesn't mean that I'll take advantage of her. Mm -mm. That's the secret of your success, is it, Trevor? I tell her how I'm feeling. And she tells me. We don't have secrets that you know of. And when we make love, which we will, it'll be really special. Look, Simon, to get Joe off your back and buy your freedom, organise a party. A party? How's that going to make me any money? Well, you've got the school standing empty, right? Hmm. So just hire a sound system, charge a fiver on the door, and that's it. Freedom. How many people do you reckon would come? Well, a mate of mine had one last year, and about 300 people turned up. 300? And fiver ahead, that's... 1,500 quid. Of course, I'd uh, have to take a cut. You what? Shall we say 50-50? Are you joking us? You want to be? <laughs> You're running. Go, 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 go! No! <laughs> dead man! So you're done with me just like that? Sorry. But it's not fair. It's the only option to me. No, it isn't. Look, here, see? B. Take a box of tissues to bed and cry all night. But that's for wimps. Well, I don't know. I reckon if you found out you'd been two time, you'd be pretty hurt. Oh, all right. See then. Except you haven't got any ties for me to cut it off. A couple. Oh, it's not for real, Trevor. <laughs> B. I reckon. If I really cared about her. Yeah. B. I mean, why waste time getting quotes from other builders when Joe said he could do it? It's the sensible thing to do. Well, he looks like he could handle the job. You're worried I'm going to seduce him or something. It was nothing to do with me. I just want him concentrating on the school and not getting sidetracked. So you want him for yourself? I want him focused. And if he thinks he could be focused on both of us? Then fine.
<laughs> yeah. Well, we seem to be surrounded by people, don't we? Well, I don't think we've ever been on our own. I know. So frustrating. Oh, oh, I didn't mean... I mean, we're getting really well, don't we? And it's important to get to know someone first. And we do. And it's great. No, no, no. Claire. Oh, forget I said it. it's fine. I'm blushing now. <laughs> do you really mean that? You know I do. Excuse me? Hey, 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 hey! Whoa. You all right? Thought you were trying it on. Well, I was, as a matter of fact. Do you want to try it again? How about tonight? I'd like that. Ain't you? Yeah, well, we've got a lot on, you know, what with Pippa's and the school. You know yourself. Yeah, I'm glad you're keeping so active. Yeah, yeah. And how's things going at your place? All right, is it? Yeah, let's cut the crap, shall we? Sorry? You and my sister, what's the plan? There is no plan. Well, I don't make plans. I think it's better just to take things as they come. You know, easy come, easy go. Free and easy. Oh, not that I am with Claire. Oh, absolutely no way. No, I can assure you, my intentions are strictly honourable. And what intentions would those be then? Well, none really. See, blokes like you have got birds all over the place. You pick them up and then you drop them. I haven't. Well, there is one, but... Oh, so you admit it? Oh, no, it's not what you think. I mean, we're not together anymore. We're separated. She lives up in Newcastle. What? My wife, Karen. I mean, I'm still in touch with her on account of our son, Daniel. But it's not for you to worry your head about. Look, why don't we just bury the hatchet, eh? For Claire's sake. Yeah, I would love to bury the hatchet. I am just working out exactly where. That's great. Yeah, and then maybe one night you and me could go out for a pint and, well, really get to know each other. Anyway, it's been nice talking to you. I'm glad we got all that sorted out. <laughs> Sockets. This changes everything. My fault, should have checked it. It's our fault. Damn. I love that design. Hey. So did I. No, you're going to think of something, and it's going to be better. Yeah, but you want to work in here in a minute. I might need time to think. We can wait. Who knocked all the biscuits? Simon. Shh, not now. Well, whatever we do, I'll have to get an engineer in now, and that's going to cost money. Well, I don't mind spending a bit more. Oh, my first job as a freelance, and it's no, going to No, not necessarily. Do you believe in this project? Do you want a challenge? Say yes, Joe. Yes, Joe. Then we're halfway there. Where is it? Where's who? Bloody Trevor. He's at your place. Look, I want you and him to come over right now. And I want that job finished by tonight. Do you understand? I'm sorry, Viv. Look, I've got an important business meeting this evening and I don't want to be holding it in a building site. You mean he hasn't finished? Well, of course he bloody hasn't. I wouldn't be here if he had, would I? You lot are seriously starting to piss me off. Now, oh. You wouldn't believe the queue at the electrical suppliers. I would. Joe sure wouldn't. Well, am I in trouble, am I? No, I'm not. Mm. 
If you weren't my brother, you would be on the door now. Sorry. What does it say on the van, Trevor? Purvis. And Purvis! Two Purvis it's not just me. I'm working me bollocks off and you're floating around on another planet. Yeah, mm. Venus. I didn't realise the time. Sockets. Now! Don't even think about it. Jim, you said you'd clear the table. Two minutes. Uh, I just got to check out on the Three Stooges. All finished. I've just got to put the floorboards back and then stick the fuse in. What do you want? A medal? Is it all done? <sighs> Trevor's nearly finished. We're well, not leaving him to do it on his own. It's a one-man job. Well, to be finished twice as fast with two. Rachel will be here in seven. We've only got another two minutes. All right, then, you do. Just the last one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now be careful. That's only a few nails, for God's sake. Yeah, but you have to make sure that you don't miss the. Did you uh, fall asleep in one of those evening classes, Trev? No, I know what went wrong. Yes, you! Your what went wrong? Ah, oh, they were overloading the system. Anyway, man, they had everything on except the lawnmower. Oh, wasn't Thomas they? Edison. Fair me, LaBosch. He's only trying to help. Yes, well, Simon's help is the kind of help I can do without. Thank you very much. Unless it means giving you half his wages. I'm sorry. Nothing. Well, let's get out of here before the bloody plumbing goes. Joe! Just let us explain. Mum and Dad are going to a restaurant later. Come back when they've gone. Yeah, all right. See you later. See ya. I wish I'd had a shower now. You have to be joking. Yeah, but I'm meeting Claire. I mean, what should I do? Jump off the pier. Oh, poor thing. Joe hates me. <laughs> Claire! What? Just a sec, Tina. What do you want? It's okay, I found it. <sighs> Sorry about that. I've ruined Pippa's dinner party. They have to go out to eat. Mr. Costello, the other drill's packed up. So we're still on for tonight, then? Yeah. I'll meet you at the end of the pier. Can't wait. Bye. 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 Stop it. <laughs> Trevor, I'm hanging up. <laughs> Night, Trevor. Okay. You're finished for the day. Yeah. Where are you going with that lot? Yours? Come on. I wouldn't ask, but I'm seeing Claire tonight. No, it's OK, Trevor. Well, it's going to be really special for us, you see. Well, I hope so. Anyway, it's our first time. Oh, you don't have to explain. Uh, no, I do. You see, I know that it's right because we get on so well. I mean, it's a proper relationship. It's not just a casual thing. I mean, we really talk to each other. Well, I think that's important, don't you? Yes, yes, Trevor, I do. Yeah, we'll start in here. Oh, sorry. Get out the way. And then the main bathroom. Viv and Sam have had to put up with it long enough. So you're close then, you and Viv? Yep. We tell each other pretty much everything. Oh, that's nice. How do you end up living together? When she split up with her husband, she moved back to Brighton. Huh? So uh, what's he like, her ex? Oh, ambitious, successful, you know the type. No, uh... We never had much time for Viv. It was doomed from the start, if you ask me. Oh, why? 
She married her lecturer. What? He was teaching her? Yeah, the engineering genius, didn't she say? No. Hold on, I'll be out in a sec. Hey. And uh, this is my room here. <sighs> well, we could build a fitted wardrobe along there, you know, mm. if we move the bed there. Mm. Oh, talking of which. See? Can't move without it squeaking. The neighbours must think I'm at it all night. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hiya. You'd better get your skates on, we'll be leaving in half an hour. Nag, nag, nag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really bad. Can you fix it? Yeah, just needs tightening up. Joe? Cool. Oh. We were just talking about Lizzie's bed. Yeah, Joe was going to fix it for me. Aren't you? Yeah. Two minute job. Um, could you point which one the bathroom is, please? What did I say to you? Viv took pity on me. Is it okay, Lizzie? Yeah, sure. Come on. There's a special knack with the taps. Oh, ta. Oh, uh, ta. We need to think about this. I can't start turning down work, Viv. It's just, I don't want the school jeopardised. It won't be. Can we talk about this later? Yep. Great. About eight o'clock? Fine. Good. <clears throat> I phoned Daniel earlier. Sends love to his Uncle Joe. I'm sorry I shouted at you before, Trev. No, you were right. I haven't been able to think about anyone except Claire. I don't blame you for being angry. I'm not. I've let everyone down, haven't I? Jeff hates me. It's my fault you're running late with the school. Forget it. Get yourself away and have a good time. Are you feeling all right? Go on. Can't mess her about. Well, not after all the expense and the effort you've gone to. I just hope the suspension's up to it. How did you know? There's a great big lump of foam in the back of the van, Trevor. Oh. Anyway, that, uh, that towel will have to go. Give Claire a migraine before you even snug. What? But I haven't got anything else. I have. Not the Italian job. Now just treat it gently. When I'm gone, I'm going to be buried in this. Don't know what to say. You got the tools. Now do the job. She's going to be like putty in your hands. What are you waiting for? Well, I've cocked everything else up. Why should tonight be any different? Well, let's face it, I'm not a smoothie like you. It's, it's just not me. You think that's what women want? Probably. You don't know how lucky you are, Trevor. How do you mean? You're the genuine article. You're a good bloke. Women love you. They want to cuddle you to death. See, when women pull me, I mean, they expect fireworks, you know. Not a cosy night round the fire. It's hard work. Who are you? Go on, young man. You didn't tell me you had a wife and kid tucked away. She's not tucked away, they're separated. So he says. Soon as he gets what he wants, he'll dump you. No, he won't. Oh, please, you can't be that naive. Didn't they teach you anything at that school? It cost enough. Oh, stop it. You're too good for him, Claire. Don't care what you say. You won't stop me seeing him. Claire! Claire!
fill his neck? Yes, mate. Little favour. Hi. All right. I'm cooking some pasta if you fancy. Hmm? Sounds good. If I'd known, I'd have bought some beer. Or wine. There's a bottle open in the drawer. Right, I've been thinking about the job. Yeah, I'm, I'm just worried about falling way behind in school. No, what, what I was thinking was we could use it to give us the breathing space we need on the design front. Yeah, maybe. Just the thought. Salmon bed already? Um, no. No seeing a friend tonight. Shall we? What? Eat. Oh, fine. How about you? How many girlfriends have you had? Apart from Karen, I mean. Ah, uh, you know, some. Hundreds of it. No, <laughs> you're getting me confused with Joe. No, I think you're much better looking. <laughs> you must need your eyes tested. My eyes are perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. I think they're gorgeous. Don't change the subject. Go on, tell me I can take it. All right, let's see. Um, 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 no. Liar! <laughs> no, really. I mean, I've had offers like, you know, well, loads. Well, well, a few. I, I can't see the point of going out with someone just for the sake of it, you know? You probably think I'm one of them dead sad blokes now. <laughs> no. I think it's lovely. It makes me feel special. That's because you are special, Claire. So the school project came along just in time, yeah? Yeah, I wanted to move on. And the money at the site wasn't good. I'm glad I did something right. <laughs> what time is it? It's just before nine, still early. Do you want to go somewhere for a drink? No. No, I don't, I don't think so. Have we finished the meeting? Well, as long as you're happy, you know. Yeah, I think so. Well, finished then. Good. Good. I'll be off then. All right. Mm -hmm. Simon, Mum and Dad will be back soon. I'm going where you want. I'm enjoying in the front. was like a war zone. I just walked out and left it. Sounds like a nightmare. It must be awful having people tramping about the house. No, I, I enjoy the company actually. Well, I, I have to admit, they've done a great job. So it's a wonderful working space. I envy you, Jeff. I'd love to go freelance. It's great, actually. Yeah, it's nice for me too. <laughs> Jeff's such a help around the house. Right, well, um, I bought some recent stuff to show you. Great. Uh, ah. I was just trying things out. Actually, I've got, I've got something else. Ah, damn. Sorry, should have switched it off. If you knew how. 
Hello? Oh. Oh. Hello? Hello? It's the wrong number, I expect. Uh, it's new. I haven't quite worked it out. Hello, Becky. Oh, what's happened? quite comfy and well you can see how thick it is it's tacky isn't it and I've insulted you and uh, I'm so stupid I don't know what I was thinking oh Trevor no I can't believe you went to all this trouble I love it Trevor just saying that to spare me feel no no it's the most romantic thing anyone's ever done for me Really? <laughs> right. Close your eyes again. Oh, no. <laughs> What's all the fuss about a couple of little boxes? They're antiques. They've been collecting them for years and they're worth a fortune. <laughs> Sorry. Well, as far as I can tell, nothing else has been taken. Well, there's no sign of a break-in. You sure you didn't leave the door open? Of course not. Any strangers called at the house? Antique dealers, um, salesmen, workmen? No. Well, we've had the builders in, but then... It's the purposes. It has to be. Huh? They knew we were going out tonight. God, I thought Trevor blew the electrics because he was stupid, but he obviously did it to get us out of the house. You're mad. The electrician said that there was a nail through the cable on the last floorboard, the one that you did, Dad. Hi. What are you doing here, anyway? I told you I rang him because I was scared. You should be thanking him. Where are your friends now? I don't know. They've got a van, Purvis and Purvis, on the side. You can't miss Just it. Just stop it. Hey, what, Trevor's not a thief. I've always had this fantasy. Mm -hmm. Like when two people are on the run and they end up in a log cabin in the middle of nowhere. And then they inexplicably get soaked and wet and they have to get their kit off. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Sexy bit before the shooting starts again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Uh, look, I'm sorry, I thought we could park here, I mean, I didn't see any signs of anything. Are these yours, sir? Uh, no, uh, they're Pippa's. Uh, that's the woman that I'm waiting for. Can you explain what they're doing in the front of your van? No. Nice bit of material. Uh, can you be careful with that, please? It's, it's not mine. Good taste. I'll give you that. Oh, there's no need for that. I'm arresting you, sir, on suspicion of me. Hey, look, I think you're making a mistake, though. You're under arrest. You don't have to say anything. We may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something later on in court. Anything you do, you sir, give you can give me a chance to talk, please. Yeah, I forgot. What are you thinking about? Work. Really? Thanks very much. Mm. There has to be some way around that bloody column. There isn't. No, there is. We're just not seeing it. I have to get on to the engineer. Mm. 
Got somebody in mind? My old lecturer. You mean your husband? Yeah. Is that a problem? No. No problem. I need his advice on this. And he's very good. Sure he is. You're not jealous. No. He's my ex-husband. As in, finished with? Don't have to explain, Fear. No, I know. I mean, how many exes do I have to be jealous of? No, what are we talking about? Just the Brighton area? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Being a prat. Yeah, you were. So how about a spiral staircase that goes around the column? I could make it out of wood. Well, you could do that. Man? My column that can do anything. You bolt it to the existing column and steps float out from the side. Oh, that's brilliant. We could go to one side and have a secondary beam. Oh, I love it. Where are you going? To the school. Have another look. Get your clothes on. Come on, this get way. Off, piece. Yeah, save it till we get to the station. Get in the car. Stay there. I'll be right back. Sorry about this, Nick. Oh, no worries, you're only doing your job. A word of advice, Claire. Choose your boyfriend more carefully in the future. Yeah, I warned her about him. Would she listen? Oh, easy, Joe. Happy now, eh? Hey? Come on, sweetheart. Joe Purvis, the other one's brother. What about him? Reckons he was with a daughter. On the sofa. Yeah. Right. Ring this number. Her name is Vivian Casey. She'll confirm I was at her place. All in good time, son. What does the daughter say? She's told him. Her mum and dad were there as well. Kinky. Go on, bugger off. I'm staying here. Oh, go on, son. What? There's no point, it's all been in the nick. Yeah. I'll authorise detention for him to be interviewed. Where's my brother? Lock him up. Go on, mate. Ring her. Ring her. Follow me. What is it with these Geordies? Must be the accent. Or the job. Statistically, a huge percentage of affairs among married women take place with their builders. It's all that fresh air. Lugging bricks around. Sweaty torsos. Makes me feel quite queasy. Everything happens to me. You just relax. We're innocent men. Why was it tonight of all nights? So? Who did the rest you before or after? After what? Do you mind? It's personal. Before then? Hmm? I just don't understand it. Me neither. That sheet has always been lucky for me. That's not what I meant. How long's it to you to make a phone call? Who to? Viv. Viv? You were at her place tonight. Yes, Your Honour, I was. About time. Do you think Claire will have waited for us? Listen. Claire. Not you. Sure. Don't worry, Trev. I'll get you out. <laughs> 